Next on Go-Kart Reality. McCormick and I assemble and test drive our first factory-made go-kart kit, and the results do not disappoint. just come from Fine Line Production where I've picked up the very first factory welded go-kart alley frame and uh, it's not quite to the production model yet I've got to put it together I've got to test drive it and then we will know if we are ready to go ahead and build the fixture and get these things factory production produced factory produced production models so I've been working with Fine Line for several months to really dial this thing in and turn it into a real uh, production frame. We started out with an old Manco Dingo Survivor chassis that was in pretty good shape and uh, we took it and we tried to look at how it was going to be the best uh, factory reproduction uh, to make it easy to produce now and made some changes to accept disc brakes, to accept the Predator engines, to accept the, the 212 and the 301 Predator and make this thing the kind of modern version of the old vintage frames that we all love. Uh, I've got with me right now, I got in the back, we got the XL version and the YT. The XL is finished welded, whereas the YT is just tacked together. I've got to uh, go over that, just like I did with the XL. We first tacked it together. I went over, checked all the dimensions, made sure everything was going to assemble right, uh, gave them a list of changes. They incorporated those changes, and now it's finished welded. And uh, that one's going to, it's looking really good. From the seat back, both frames are the same, but for the XL we added 3 inches more seating room and 4 inches more legroom. We also raised the steering wheel a couple inches for more clearance. The parts kit is interchangeable on both frames.
Michelle to get out of your house. You got to drive the last one. This is the XL for big folks like me. You can drive the next one, I promise. Okay. All right, so there's just a couple little things left to tweak before we return it to the factory, but first we have to disassemble it. No disassemble. We haven't done that movie yet. We got to take it apart, take it by the box place to have it fitted for its shipping box, and then get this thing into production. So y'all look for it real soon. to Ward Packaging in Fort Worth to get the frame fitted for its shipping box and uh, look what it's by. Rockwood Go-Kart Track. That's where Go Power Sports uh, got its start. That building right over there is where they used to sell all their parts out of before they moved to where they're at now. So it just turns out this place is right around the corner from there and we're gonna go in and check it out and see how this thing fits in its box. So here is the prototype box for the kit. The first one put together by Ward Packaging. And it sure enough holds a whole go-kart kit. Now obviously the kits won't have a used motor and assorted packaging, but this is pretty much how it's gonna come. The motor fits right there in the seat. All the other parts in a separate box. Wheels underneath and on top. And seat there by the side. Uh, this is the YT frame prototype. See it's a little bit shorter there. The uh, XL is back at the factory getting those last four changes done. So we can go into full production on those. But I wanted to get a, a feel for how it fits. It weighs about 150 pounds all total. And it's just over 5 feet long. 28 inches wide and 24 tall. It'll come by an LTL shipper like FedEx Freight uh, on a semi truck. They will bring it to your door. They won't bring it right into your house, but they'll bring it close. They'll put it on the lift gate. Uh, if you don't have someone to help you pick up a 150 pound box of this size, you just want to open it up, <clears throat> take out the engine, wheels, frame, take it out piece by piece, and uh, get it off the truck that way. I am really excited about how all this is coming together. It's been a long time dream of mine to get it to this level. Ever since I was a kid and I saw that Foley Bell Saw ad in the back of Popular Mechanics and had the idea to start my own go-kart shop. Originally envisioned me uh, building go-karts out of junk parts that I found and eventually progressing to the level of uh, coming out with my own line of go-karts. Now 30 years later that's kind of happening. It's, it's taken a lot longer than I ever thought that it would. But uh, everything has to happen in God's time. And, uh, and he has a plan to make everything come together. And he knows the expected end that he has for us. And so along the way, I've gotten great people like Go Power Sports as partners, Fine Line Production, my factory, Ward Packaging to come out with this box. And so it all has to happen with these people. And I can't forget my marketing manager, Jeff Crutt. So I'm really thankful for all these people. I'm really excited to see this, this kit come out as a real product. But I am. I'm really excited to finally bring this product to you. And we're getting down to the final weeks. And uh, everyone who's backed me, look for it to come real soon. Everybody that's interested know that I'm working hard to get this out. I can't wait to get feedback from fans to see how they got these go-karts in time for Christmas. And what a merry Christmas they had because of it. So, and, and I look forward to the spring. I look forward to coming out with different models. I really am excited about this and can't wait to take go-kart at Alley to that next level. And uh, we look forward to making more episodes. We look forward to making a full-on television series. Um, I love Stranger Things. They do some awesome stuff with the 80s. But we've done some pretty awesome things too. And I can't wait to, to bring you that level of a television show. So thanks everyone for backing me. Thanks everyone for, for being behind this. And again, just I'm incredibly blessed with all the things that have come together on this project. And we're almost there. Everybody bear with me. We're almost there. These are going to be coming out soon. So, thanks.
Reverse works great! <laughs>